Now you can automate operations or tasks in your computer with new version of cloud model. Let me show you how you can run its demo on your local computer. Then, let's go! Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. Right now, let's get into new release Anthropic model, which is the new version of Claude that they're saying that it is also pretty good for computer use. What does that mean? As you might know, a couple of days ago, Claude Anthropic actually announced an upgraded version of Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and they said that actually it has a groundbreaking capability which is in beta right now that can be used for computer use what does that mean you can technically automate your computer with whatever you type or say in voice and you will see it is happening on your computer your your mouse getting moved and doing any action or executing tasks that you define that way you can maybe automate a lot of repetitive process or something that you can dedicate a task to something that is running on your computer not just through code you will see that in your monitor in action they actually released a video i'm not going to play that but here they're they're showcasing a demo that how computer tasks can be automated for operation using this new cloud model. And although it is in beta, but it's still, I'm, I was so curious to actually give it a try and see how can it can run it locally on my machine. So then I got into this repo, which is from Anthropic, and they're talking about quick start on running this demo for Anthropic computer use demo. Again, this is just a demo, so highly recommended that maybe use a dedicated virtual machine make sure you don't have sensitive data or do not try to log in with entering user and pass when the model can't see them obviously it's not a good practice to put uh personal information if, uh to to the model so make sure that you are cautious of using this in your machine so for running this it's docker based execution you can have it with directly called from anthropic api if you have it which is my my version actually so i have anthropic um profile and I have also paid my API so I can use it directly or if you're in AWS Bedrock you can also run this one which is Authenticator through AWS and get this model working. So mine is this so I copy that also make sure you have Docker installed and you just simply need to run that locally in your machine. Here's my terminal, here's my Anthropic API key of course I revoked that after uh, revoked it after finishing recording this video and then here's some port forwarding to run this docker and with specifying the key that we have it here on the top and then after running this it says that this demo is now running on my local machine with this local URL so let me click on it there you go on the right side I have this demo environment created for me let me actually maximize it you can see it better so here a sort of a virtual environment has been created on the right for me uh, and it's better of course I don't want to have that automation running right now on my laptop I'm cautious about it and on the left side it's like an stimulus app that you can start typing whatever you want to to control this computer so let's say I want to get current weather data it's just a simple example data of London all right so just want to show you the process how it's going to look like so it's running the agent, agent thinking about what I should do. So first it will take in a screenshot of your computer. It's a multi-model uh, model, so it can understand what is inside this picture. And it knows that here's Firefox browser. So the next task it needs to do to move, move the mouse to this coordinates to click on Firefox. That's what's happening right now on the left side. So it, it took in a screenshot again because it opened the Firefox and it knows that, okay, I have to type something on the top because it saw that the browser with the screenshot. So you can see it's trying to type for me. It went to weather.com and I'm expecting that on the top, uh, top side it should start typing maybe London or something like that. So I'm scrolling down, you can see it is trying to, yeah, there you go, type on the top. I'm just curious to see, oh, now it's been to bbc.com letter. It is really, really interesting to even just watch how crazy it is with just these multi-model language models. Now we can have uh, automation of tasks running locally on your computer. So 
this is a live test I'm doing right now I'm also curious to see how it's gonna find typing London so it says let me try type London in the search box there you go it type London and now it got a list of well, I, should, I should say London UK because we have London in so many different places but let's see what it's gonna do all right now here's the final result what I needed to do well I didn't specify where exactly mean by London because it's available in different also countries so I said London UK and this time it went to uh, a website it couldn't find it and then it says let me try a different website actually so as you can see if it was all the way up first it was trying to get the data from better.com it find uh, the London close to I think Ottawa and then uh, scrolling down now it tried with bbc.com and then type uh, London in UK sorry yes in and then from the weather on the BBC website it got the information of London with the temperature weather well given the time that I'm recording this video right now and on the right side it captured that from this website so I can even control the browser manual by myself but I didn't actually execute any task with my mouse it was all automated by an agent that is keep watching executing task following up fixing the mistakes and giving me the final result it was just a very very simple example i was just cautious about the cost and also it's a very limited version they released but down the road think about it how much of your task can be automated with just asking something practical and see the automation down on the right side for you all right that was all about this short video i wanted to give you a chance to give it a try if you want to and wanted to show you how i tried by myself and i found you i hope you, you found it helpful if yes i would be very thankful if you click on like icon and share your thoughts questions on the comment section and the reference url of the code that i tried is added to this code channel link in the video description below thank you all